Welcome to my vintage love. Today I am going to do a second round of my favorite hats. After our first my favorite hat video, we had a lot of requests to see more hats. So here we are, more hats. Um, as I said in the first video, I probably have about 60 to 70 hats. Um, most of them sitting comfortably in some hat boxes in the corner of our living room. And um, something to think about when you're dressing is a hat really makes all the difference when you're dressed in vintage. You can be dressed in perfect vintage from the neck down and no one will really notice, but the second that you get a hat on, especially if it's a really impactful hat, people really take notice. So if you're looking to kind of amp up your vintage style, that's the best way to do it. Or if you wanna be more low key, maybe don't wear a hat. Um, so let's get started. Um, I'm just gonna start with a more simple hat. This is a 30s, a beautiful 30s, straw hat. I actually got this at Viva Las Vegas. Matthew found it for me. And because it's 30s, it's a little earlier than most people that go there are interested in. So it kind of slipped under the radar and I was able to get it at the end of the weekend. And it's not necessarily like the hat that will make people stop and stare. It's not an impactful hat, but it's a great everyday hat. So if I just, if I'm wearing something 30s or early 40s and I just want to, you know, kind of go under the radar, it's just really soft and gentle and it's just a great hat and I love the shape of it. You can still see that little ridge up here and that little dip in the front and I love it. It's a very, very useful hat to have. And next is a more impactful hat. This is a hat that my mom gave to me and it is the hat that I wear every time I do Edwardian. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I have a few Edwardian dresses. I wish I had more, um, but this is the hat that just, it just goes with every, every Edwardian hat. <laughs> every Edwardian dress, sorry. Um, it is designed by Hattie Davison. I don't know that name. My mom actually put the purple flowers on for another dress that I wore, and she wore this hat as well. And um, it's just a lovely hat, and with a Gibson Girl updo, it looks really beautiful. It's, um, it's kind of hard to keep on. I'm kind of perfecting my keeping this hat on my head <laughs> goals, but it, it really is beautiful, and it wears very well with a... Um, a lawn dress from the Edwardian era. And that is an impactful hat. <laughs> so moving on, another really fun floral hat is this lovely red and white one. This is probably one of my top 10 favorite hats. It's really, really beautiful. And it's, you know, the flowers might've had seen better days, but with a red and white dress or red and white outfit, it is pretty amazing. Um, I actually wore this in our picnic video that we shot not long ago. And I wore this in some, some pictures that we were taken of Matthew and I many years ago. And um, yeah, it's one of my favorite hats. It's just sweet and there's a simplicity to it and a sweetness that I really, really like. Kind of, it's a very, just a great vintage hat. Yep. And next, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I got this at the Underground Attic very recently. This was a this is a hat from Lane Bryant, and it was a decommissioned museum piece actually. And the tag when I got it said Lane Bryant, 1945. So that is the most I've ever known about the specifics of a hat. Um, I love this, the beautiful, beautiful roses on the top and then these little berries or cherries. It actually came, a little baggie came with other berries and cherries that I have not figured out how to attach, but I will figure out how to do that. And um, I'm not sure if it started out its life as a black hat, and then it kind of um, maybe faded or morphed into this very, like very, very deep brown color. But whatever it is, it wears very well with a lot of different colors. And I've already worn it quite a few times. I've only had it about a month. Um, but it just goes with a lot of different things. And as I said in the other video, I love a tilt hat. A tilt hat is definitely, it's where it's at. It's all where all the drama is. So there we go. I love that one. And you'll definitely be seeing a, be seeing a more, more of this hat in videos and Instagram posts. And moving on, here's another great little, super fun little hat. Uh, this is from Bullock's Collegian Model by Tony. Um, I got this from Lily's Remain, and I love it that it just looks like a little, like little bunny ears. So I like to wear it like this with the, the ears in the back. How cute is that? Great little tilt hat. I've worn this to the uh, Boston lawn party at least once or twice. The funny thing is that the, the, um, the tag is actually on this side. So I don't know if it was meant to be worn like that necessarily, but I like to wear it the other way. So who knows? 
but yeah, I love the shape on this one. I love the ribbon work. And you know, as I said, I love a tilt hat. And this green is just great, that bright grass spring green. Um, just when you can find the right green to go with that, it really just pops, which is just great. So this is a different season. This, I bought this beautiful hat from my friend Heidi Rosno, who is a fellow vintage lover and has an amazing, amazing collection. Um, and wore this to one of the last vintage trains last year. And just this beautiful kind of dusty blue and velvet, super, wall, super fall winter friendly. Kind of quite an interesting shape on it too, which I really like. Very, very dramatic. Kind of can make an outfit I feel like. And because it's kind of that dustier, more subdued blue, I feel like it could go with more things. Um, so I could wear this with a black or a white or a gray or blue. Um, but anyways, gorgeous, gorgeous hat. Very sculptural, very, um, very of that era. And speaking of sculptural, I'm gonna move on to this beauty. I got this in Portland a few years ago. And look at that gorgeous, sculptural 30s beautifulness. Isn't that amazing? It just feels like an airplane, I think. Um, I love 30s hats, 30s, early 40s, and just the sculpture of them all was just so interesting. And they were willing to kind of go outside the bounds of just normal, I guess. You see these gorgeous shapes, and I think they're just amazing. Um, this is from Henri. It's an Henri original, and it is from New York. So on so you can see like talk about drama this is a hat you wear if you're comfortable being looked at you got the drama you got the impact um, I think this would be amazing especially with a very well tailored suit um, you know strong shoulder pads are very nipped in ways very structured I think would be super amazing with this so that is one of my favorites and I haven't worn that one in a long time and I need to wear this hat I wore it in Portland right after I bought it but I don't think I've worn it since then so I need to wear it uh, again Another whimsical felt hat. I'm gonna say this is more of a 50s hat, actually, 40s, 50s. Um, it did have some netting. The netting did not survive, unfortunately. I think when I got it, I had to put it out of its misery, so there's a little hint of it back here. Um, this one, I'm not actually a huge Mrs. Maisel fan, I know, gasp, um, but I have seen enough of it to, to get the feeling that this might be kind of like a Mrs. Maisel style hat, maybe something she would have she would wear on the show. So it makes me, again, makes me think of little bunny ears or ears of some kind. I think it's really, really cute. I've worn this for the, I think I wore this for the vintage train. And um, yeah, I just think it's it's really, really super cute. And it makes me think of, of bunny ears. <laughs> also a great one to wear around the holidays, just red and white. And another felt hat coming up here. This is a 30s beauty um, with his, you know, a really interesting color, kind of a, orangey cinnamony color and it has little matching uh, hat pins in the back here which is really cool and um, I actually bought this with a matching dress I think the woman I bought it from um, she let she told me that she had not actually bought it as a set but she bought them very close in time together and they were so perfect she kind of had to sell it as a set which I totally agree with so I've worn this quite a few times and I've just, it's so rare to have, especially in an interesting color like this, to have an exact match with the color of the dress and the beading is very similar too. So that's a real treat and really, really brings an outfit together. Um, so I really, I really, really, really love this one. And it fits really nice and snug to the head too. So I don't have to worry about it flying off like you sometimes do with certain hats. Okay, so this one, is another back to the straws and flowers here. Uh, I bought this in Portland as well. And gorgeous, gorgeous, these little, these little fake felt flowers. There's this lovely navy blue color. And then I love how there is the flowers underneath as well. I think that's a great little touch. And again, it's a tilt hat. I've expressed my love for tilt hats already. But, um, so I do love how you can just, you know, put that on and then that was a nice little surprise underneath there, which is really fun. So another great colors. You can definitely wear this with a lot of different things. This one needs a little more, it needs to be worn again. <laughs> it's been sitting in my boxes. It needs to be pulled out. Um, so back, this one has some great netting, this beautiful green. I love, love, love this Kelly green color. It's so pretty. I would love to actually get more more accessories and more dresses and things in this Kelly, in this green color. I have some matching shoes, so. 
so that's this lovely, still in great condition, little veil here, which is super cute. And just a great little hat. I've managed to, like I said, I have managed to get some color, um, some shoes in this color, and I have a dress with different, with this color in it. So it's really fun to just put it all together and, you know, kind of be very matchy matchy, which I love to do and is very, very much a vintage thing to do. And last but not least, kind of full circle on lovely hats that might not be the most impactful, but are great kind of everyday hats. This was a hat that I got at Chez Poupoul in Paris, which is one of my very favorite vintage shops in the world. And it's this kind of little beret type thing, but this beautiful kind of folded work on the side and a little and a little bow. And because it's brown, it kind of you know fades in a little more with my hair. And it's just one of those hats I can wear without feeling like I'm, it's walking into the room before I am. Because like I said, sometimes you just want to wear vintage and not be taking over the room. You just want to just wear vintage. Um, so I really love, I just love this hat. It's very understated, I feel like, and very demure. And it's just a great way to kind of like give a little bit of lift to an outfit. So there you go. Those are my other favorite hats. <laughs> I love them all equally. Uh, thank you so much for requesting this and for following along. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so below. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you at the next one. Bye.